Welcome, everybody. This is Jason Rosen with US Enzymes with Dr. Kevin Connors to chat about a product that we actually developed together for, uh, well, we wanted to make something that was more than just a, you know, a typical gut healing product that covered a lot of bases, but had really, really high quality, well-researched ingredients in it that, um, you know, had to have, um, uh, or had to not contain uh, glutamine in it. I know that's a, a big, big deal, um, especially in the, the world that you deal with, Dr. Connors. I know you work mostly supporting patients that have uh, had had cancer. So why don't, um, yeah, I hand it over to you a little bit, and maybe you can give a little bit of a background, uh, again, on what went into us formulating this guy, and then uh, we'll get into the ingredients one by one and cover some of the different aspects, research, uh, genetics, things like that. Sure. So, I mean, it's obvious to most people in the, um, that have issues uh, physically that your ha uh, health starts in the gut. Yes. Um, um, most lay people have, do any research on, on any type of health, whether it's fatigue or thyroid issues or early dementia, and everything points back to working on healing the gut first. Uh, the struggle with it is that most gut healing products contain a lot of the uh, amino acid L-glutamine, yep. which one of the, the reason why it does is because L-glutamine strongly stimulates a pathway called mTOR. And that's how it heals. The mTOR pathway is what upregulates uh, healing and growth, which you think, well, that's important. We want to heal the gut and grow new cells and and um, allow the epithelial lining of the gut to be healed. And, and uh, L-glutamine can be very efficient for that. The problem comes in is if you have any history of cancer in your family, uh, a history of cancer for yourself, you don't want to be upregulating mTOR. So there are other ways to heal tissue without upregulating mTOR. When, when Jason and you and I were discussing this a number of years ago, it's like we there's no products on the market though for this. Yep. So you know you you said well let's make one, and I said okay. Let's right. do it. It took a while, right? Well, <laughs> because yeah. um, a quality product is it's it's no picnic, that's for sure. Well, it isn't. It, it, you know, we went through a company that was completely crazy anal about perfection and ingredients, and and there's times that you know, a, from a clinical standpoint, I you know was you know you get a little upset because it's not happening as quickly as possible but from right. from a personal standpoint it's the right thing to do because we wanted to come up with a product that was correct perfect um met our our uh requirements and worked and you know you were instrumental in, in that and oversee that process in it and it's been phenomenal yeah no i really appreciate that and for me you know even you know being a paranoid myself with products, it just was like another, you know, reassurance of like how important did, it is to. Did you say paranoid? Paranoid. Yeah, paranoid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> total paranoid. Yes, that um, it is a minefield out there, and any Joe Schmo could just go to any contract manufacturer and just have a product whipped together in like next to no time. But I'm telling you that the odds of that being a clean product you're, are slim to none. So it is a minefield out there with cross-contamination and, you know, assays. So I would say a word to the wise, you know, ask your nutrition company to supply you an assay of your, your product from the third party. And if they're hesitant to do that, then, um, you know, maybe a word of caution there. So uh, before well, we leave absolutely. The, yeah, the, the glutamine subject, um, a couple other things too with glutamine. We know now that it can deplete magnesium, which you know is in short supply in, in most people, and it could be you know potential like a neural, neurotransmitter issue um, as well. So uh, I, you and well, I, glutamine, well, yeah. go ahead. Sorry. 
glutamine is from the neuro. So let's say you got a doctor listening to this and say, well, I don't treat cancer patients, and so that's not really an issue for me. But if you have anybody with um, any early Alzheimer's, any emotional issues, any any spectrum patients, uh, Asperger's, uh, autism, you have to be very careful with glutamine as well because there's some specific genes that convert glutamine uh, to glutamate, which right. glutamate is a excitatory neurotransmitter. How many people are walking around today with anxiety? Yep. So anxiety stems completely from uh, increased glutamates in the brain, and many of them are because of genetic defects that upregulate the conversion of glutamine to glutamate, uh, which leads to all those conditions. So uh, even if you're not treating cancer patients, you still have to be very careful with glutamine because if you add together anxiety patients, any emotional patients, any depression patients, any autism spectrum patients, no matter where they are on the spectrum, uh, to any possible cancer patients, you've you've included now probably 90% of society. Right. <laughs> so using a glutamine product, you could be contributing to ill effects of that person down the road. And you need to be responsible for that. It's so true. Yeah, I mean, more and more doctors, they they really need to take their time and do their studying. I mean, a lot of people just want a all-in-one like protocol or something, and you know, you, it just doesn't exist. Unfortunately, people are different, uh, and they're getting misinformation. So yes, that is so true. And for anyone listening, and, and you know, maybe you went, wow, these guys especially Dr. Connors knows a lot about the gut. We did a couple other um, practitioner series called Gut 101 and Gut 102, where we really get into the gut at a much deeper level. So if you want to pop and look at those on our uh, YouTube channels, those would be a, a great place to start too for learning more about the gut. Okay, so now let's get to the ingredients that are in this guy. Uh, and the number one here is the sun fiber. And like you'd mentioned, there are other things that heal the gut. And not only are there other things that heal the gut, um, this one is like at the top of the list as far as, you know, being researched to, you know, prove that that can happen. And as far as I know, we're one of few companies that can even have a claim on the label that says digestive repair. And that's due to the research of this wonderful product called sun fiber. So, Maybe Dr. Connors, you can talk a little bit more about the sun fiber and how how this guy works with um, you know butyrate and things like that. Well, it's essential to. I mean, that is your main fuel of the gut is butyric acid, and that's what is formed with the sun fiber. So again, you're feeding the cells so that they can that they can reproduce and and heal without upregulating that mTOR pathway. So is what we chose to be that go-between. So it wouldn't stimulate any cancer growth. It wouldn't stimulate uh, any increased glutamates uh, in the brain, but it would be a great source of healing for the gut. And as far as I know, it's we're probably the only gut product that, that carries this. Um, there's other fiber products out there, but this is really meant to heal the gut when you combine it synergistically with the other ingredients in this. Yeah, absolutely. This is not just a typical um, fiber. It is, um, you know, it's it's been hydrolyzed in a way that it's truly modular. So it's, you're like, oh, if my if I got diarrhea, the last thing I want to do is take fiber. Well, that's actually the opposite here. This is a, it's like an adaptogenic for your gut. So all types of IBS, this can be recommended. And it is even recommended through, um, you know, medical doctors in Canada for all types of IBS, which is, it's rare. It's um, one of the few things that they can actually recommend in, as far as a supplement for people in, suffering from all types of IBS. So another beautiful thing about it is it's probably the easiest a nutritional product on the world to take sun fiber because it is completely tasteless, colorless, and odorless. If you can drink a glass of water, um, you're fine. And some of the other ingredients that we've added to this are very similar in the way that they're, you know, they don't really taste like anything. So um, you mix this into a smoothie, there's no way the patients can have you know, really any idea that they're taking the, the supplement. 
Right. All right, so um, let's move on to the next ingredient. So the sun fiber here, this is for you know motility and for healing your gut. And then the uh, next player, which is you know, a huge thing in nutrition today, is curcumin, but not only just traditional curcumin. This is a branded form, meaning a consistent researched patented form called C3 Reduct, which is just an absolutely fantastic pr product in that it covers a lot of the concerns with curcumin being, you know, how am I going to be able to absorb it and how long is the, uh, the half-life? So this is a, a curcumin that's got a, you know, a bioavailability three to four times greater than traditional curcumin. And it has a half-life three to four times longer than traditional curcumin's. And it's white, it's water soluble. So anyone that's taken curcumin before, you'll probably have, um, they'll have complaints or their patients will complain about, oh, it stains, it, uh, it smells, it tastes bad. Well, this form of curcumin, um, you don't have any of those uh, concerns. And, um, you know, Dr. Connors wants you maybe get a little bit more into the massive benefits of curcumin and, um, you know, why we well, we definitely we want could to talk for hours about right. that. Right, that's true. Curcumin is a major player for slowing mTOR, for increasing autophagy, uh, for decreasing uh, uh, NF kappa beta. So it's it's a great player for cancer patients. It's phenomenal to decrease uh, overall inflammation in the body which you could argue that inflammation of the body is really at the base of just a, about every disease process. Yes. And the beauty of this product is that the nearly one gram per serving is equivalent to three to four grams of other forms of curcumin that someone else may be taking through exactly. another product. So uh, because of the bioavailability of the tetrahydrocurcuminoids that are in this, it's it's equivalent to three to four times in a, another product. So, you know, again, it was just sourcing this was difficult, yes. but um, it was worth the wait and getting this. Yes, yep, I totally agree. And like, like you said, we could just go on and on about curcumin. And like you said, you know, if you're treating um, cancer patients, you know, you would treat just about any other patient, I would say, in a similar fashion, except, especially for people working with autoimmunity. Um, you know, the the similarities, I, I would, after talking to you, are you know, they're pretty astound. And um, yeah. we should mention that this product, every ingredient in it is neutral to TH1 and to TH2 for any FM doctors, you know, working with a lot of uh, autoimmune type patients. Yeah. All right. So the next player is a Q10 that is a, a bioidentical Q Q10. So again, very important for uh, being able to be absorbed. So not only huge for cellular energy, but uh, you know critical for you know liver function. So I know that was one of the big reasons we wanted you know this guy to get in here, and uh, it's also huge for you know gut function as well. When you read books like Brain Maker. Um, you know, by Dr. Perlmutter, he'll just talk all day long about butyric acid, prebiotics, and cellular energy. And so that's definitely, a, it. you know, his influence went into this product as well from just reading, you know, his research and things like that. So, um, you know, maybe Dr. Connors can talk a little bit more about, you know, some of the reasons we use this and, you know, especially for you know, liver function with people on all these medications. Well, this is key for uh, detoxification. I mean, yeah, you could say, okay, if anybody's on a Lipitor type product, then they're already diminishing their CoQ10. But besides that, CoQ10 is so important for uh, helping the cytochrome P450 detox pathway, the PON1 pathway, uh, the NAT pathways. Um, it's it's just critical. And and you see that with, with uh, toxin burden, uh, that we live in uh, with the environmental toxin burden that we have. Well, we yeah. need support of those pathways. So an essential nutrient that most people um, are uh, very beneficial to add. Yep, completely agree. And again, we source this from a highly reputable source. And, you know, 
through uh, obtained through fermentation, which is uh, just a lovely way to um, get a really clean, um, a clean nutrient. Okay, so the last thing we put in here is we know we want to put some type of probiotic uh, into this product, uh, but we wanted to make sure we found something that was really well researched and that we knew was researched for you know two of the biggest things that are critical when it comes to probiotics is that they're going to survive the acid of the stomach and that they're going to survive uh, bile and be able to you know adhere to the intestinal lining. So. Um, yeah, Dr. Connors, why don't you take it away on the on our branded well probiotic? And and that's the key. I mean, everybody's like, okay, I want to heal the gut. And the first thing that many people go to is we're going to take a probiotic. And many of the probiotics that you'll get over the counter aren't going to even survive the stomach acid, so you're not getting a great benefit from it. But the key to the the probiotic that we put in here, like you mentioned, is the survivability across the, the stomach, but also it's just the synergistic relationship with the other nutrients in here. If you're not healing the gut for it, like I tell patients, the prebiotic and the, the curcumin and the CoQ10 are giving, uh, are basically helping build the apartment building so the probiotic have a place to live when they get there uh yeah. so you need to understand that way so in creating this product overall okay we know what the gut needs to heal we got to add that all together so it's together in one product not only easier for the patient to take so they're not taking five different things but it they work together and it's that synergy working together that makes it really more than the sum of its parts. And you know, that's when we when we put our heads together to come up with this, that was the key. And and like I've told you, I literally put I think every person on Sun Spectrum. Uh, it is it is that important. I take it every day. Yep. It's uh it's it's just a product that covers so many bases, and one could argue again that the gut is the is uh, the source, or at least the key component of just about every disease that exists. So if you're not addressing that constantly, because you know our environment is addressing it negatively constantly, even if right. you're eating organic and trying to do everything right you are exposed to GMO foods, whether yep. you are eating them or not. Yes. And those are basically antibiotics and destroying your gut constantly, not to mention, you know, everything else that you're right. exposed to. <laughs> yeah, no, great point. So it's a constant fight. It's a it, constant fight. It is. It's a constant uh, two and four. Uh, but yeah, no... I just adore this product. I take it. I take a half scoop every morning with my juice, and then in the evening I put a half a scoop in in my tea while I'm working. And um, I, I think that's the way you used to like like to use it with your patients a lot, just like as a you know a fusion drink, or is that the way you usually dose? Yeah, we usually dose um, uh, uh, in two doses per day. Yep, that's the way. So whatever it is, whether I do a teaspoon in the morning, teaspoon at night, or you know double that or whatever we're doing it's we do two uh two doses a day so they're just having it constantly there because everything that you eat just you know has a half-life all nutrients yep. are going to have a half-life in your body so you've got to kind of dose it across the day yep I, I completely agree with that and yeah this is something i give my son you know every single day it's just a huge blessing to keep your you know, children's guts healthy i mean you know, they come into this world with you know hopefully a somewhat healthy gut it's a really good way to maintain that, given uh, you know, the things that they're exposed to and the stresses of school. And then who knows what the situation is with the food that they might be almost forced to eat in, in school. They're definitely going to need um, some help. Um, That's right. Yeah. But you mentioned something as well. Like This is like a four-in-one you know, product working all synergistically together. So... Um, you know, as, as far as the, the value for the, the price of this product, I mean, I, I just don't think you're, you could get a better value if you went and bought these four supplements out on their own and had to take them to get 
you know, enough to get a therapeutic amount of each, you'd be spending you know, two to three times the cost of just this single product, which has also been designed to last an entire month. All right. And just the ease of patients yeah. taking it um, uh, makes it simple. Swallow. And um, yes. All right. Anything else you'd like to add before we, uh, before we wrap up? No, have people feel free to contact me if they have any questions. Um, I know that you're always open to that as well. Yes. I appreciate that. Yep. yep, right here to get a hold of either of us. We both um, have great YouTube channels where we've done you know videos together, videos separately, and we both uh, just absolutely uh, would say take a look at Connor's Facebook and YouTube page as well as the US Enzymes. So for Dr. Connors, Jason Rosen, thank you once again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.